Hi everyone, welcome to S4 Sharnia Science Classes. Today we are going to discuss about the continuation of microorganisms in human welfare. Here we are going to discuss about microbes in the production of biogas and as a bio that na uh, controlling agents, right? And also you can see that as a bio fertilizer, what are the uses of these microbes that we are going to discuss in today's session. So first we will discuss about the uh, that na important of microorganisms, importance of microorganisms. Uh, for the production of biogas first we have to understand what you mean by a biogas biogas is nothing but it's a mixture of gases produced by the microbial activity and which may be used as fuel so that is called a biogas we can say that biogas is a mixture of gases such as mainly methane right and you can see that carbon dioxide and hydrogen all things will be included in it but mainly the biogas we are telling that's actually the methane right and this is actually produced by the action of microbes right such as uh, methanogens right certain bacteria actually uh, grow anaerobically on the cellulosic material and they produce a large amount of methane along with carbon dioxide and hydrogen right and these bacteria are collectively known as methanogens or methanobacteria right so you can see that the biogas is a mixture of gases that's actually produced by the microbes right microbial activity and this can be utilized as a very good fuel and it mainly contain methane right and there are some bacteria which actually anaerobically produce all these digest all these cellulose material and produce the uh, that na large amount of biogas and unko hum batati hai methanogens or methanobacteria right so methanobacterium commonly found in the anaerobic sludge and the rumen of cattle right for cellulosic digestion it's actually helping for the cellulosic digestion right and you can see that in the rumens of cattle uh, these bacteriums are there and they will digest the cellulosic material present in the food of cattle right so that's a main help of them help of that now use of that uh, microbes in in the rumen these bacteria even help uh, in the breakdown of cellulose and also they play a very important role in the nutrition of the cattle right so as it is present inside the rumen of the cattle they will come along with the excreta that's actually the dung of the cattle and that's why commonly known as uh, that na gobar which is rich in uh, that na methanogens methanogenic bacteria are there and these dung can be utilized to for generation of biogas and that's why it is called commonly known as gobar gas right kya hai actually biogas production biogas apne bata diya tha it's a mixture of uh, different different types of gases such as methane carbon dioxide and hydrogen which can be utilized as fuel right ye jo that na biogas produce kar deti hai because of the activity of microbes in that uh, that na what will say anaerobic uh, that na सेल्यूलोसिक मटीरियल जो प्लांट्स वगैरह की सेल्यूलोसिक मटीरियल में ये बैक्टीरियम दटना एक्ट एक्ट करके दे विल प्रोड्यूस अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ दटना बायोगैस राइट और यू कैन सी दैट दीज माइक्रो दटना मेथनो बैक्टीरियम कॉमनली रूम दटना कैटल कैटल फॉर्म्स की रूम एन में द एलिमेंट्री कैनल यू कैन सी दैट दीज बैक्टीरिया सर्द ये सेल्यूलोस की डाइजेशन में बहुत ज़्यादा हेल्प कर देती है राइट एक बार उसका डाइजेशन हो गया दीज दटना माइक्रोब्स कैन be excreted uh, that na through the cow dung also right so that's why it is known as that uh, that na uh, that na these organism will be very uh, rich in that gobar right aur jo gas uh, these microorganism produce kar deti hai usko gobar gas bhi bulati hai right and these bios gas can be utilized for their cooking lightning uh, that na uh, and different different purpose ke liye we can use right so the cattle dung or gobar contain these bacteria and the uh, dung is used to produce biogas or we can say that that's actually the gobar gas right now we have to know about that what is the parts of that biogas plant how can we uh, that now use the biogas plant for the production of biogas right the technology of biogas production was actually developed in india mainly due to the effort of indian agriculture research institute right uh, i a 
right ri indian agriculture research institute and actually khadi and village industries commission right khadi and village industries commission these two organization ki that uh, na effort ki wajah se ye biogas production hamara ye technology india mein develop hua hai and this biogas plants consist of a concrete tank right in which the biogas based bio waste are collected and the slurry of the dung is actually fed right so here you can see that there will be a concrete tank will be there that's actually about 10 to 15 uh, meter deep mein. you can see that this is a concrete tank right and in which the slurry of that dung will be collected and also the bio waste will be collected right and is key covering me you can see that there will be a floating cover will be there which is actually placed over the slurry is keeper you can see that there will be a floating uh, cover will be present in that and this keeps that now on rising as guys uh, that now gas in the uh, gas is produced in the tank due to the microbial activity so jitna gas produce hoti hai uski hisab se ye uh, that now floating cover will be uh, rise up right upward right and the biogas plant has an outlet iski ek outlet hai uh, outlet ki wajah se the gas can be taken out for their supply uh, to the nearby houses or anything right and you can see that uh, the uh, slurry right the spent uh, that now this uh, spent slurry is actually removed through another outlet is clearly another outlet hai jis mein se jo already used slurry ko hum nikal sakti hai right so that's actually uh, that now uh, may be used as a fertilizer also so as you can see that the spent uh, that now spent slurry is removed through the another outlet and it can be utilized as a fertilizer right and also you can see that that's that's you can see that here the outlet to supply the biogas that means the biogas will be removed from here and there will be another outlet to remove the spent slurry that's actually uh, the sludge can be removed and it can be utilized as a, a very good fertilizer so that's why when we are using a biogas plant then there are so many advantages there we can make our own fuel in the same way there will be a very good fertilizer for the farm and all other purpose and the biogas can be uh, that now utilized for cooking and uh, lightning and all other purpose also right so here i already told you indian agriculture research institute right and khati village industries commission they developed this technology of biogas production in india and it is actually uh, widely used everywhere uh, that now household purpose uh, that now for the cooking uh, and uh, lightning fuel production everything they are mostly using right now the next topic in this session itself we have to learn about that the microbes which can be utilized as biocontrol agents right what do you mean by biocontrol agents that means for controlling different different pests and all these things we can use that now some special microbes which can easily used for controlling the pests and diseases right so that's why we are telling biocontrol agents right so here you can see that the biocontrol is use of biological methods for controlling plant diseases and pests right so for example we are mostly using the lady bug right uh, lady bug it's actually used to, to control that aphids right so there are some uh, that now this is a type of beetle the lady uh, that now lady bird or the lady uh, that now bug we are telling right it's actually most commonly we will use uh, that now use this lady bu that now bird uh, to control aphids this is a uh, that now uh, insect which actually affecting the uh, that leaf which is eating the leaf and all so that's why it can be these ladybird can easily eat the insects right now so that's why they can uh, that now you utilized for uh, as a biocontrol agents right and you can see that the dragonflies uh, control mosquitoes the dragonflies can eat that uh, that now eggs of the mosquito and all and it can be easily controlled right and uh, why we are using that all these methods that means you can see that there are so many chemical pesticides and insecticides are there which will kill both useful and harmful organism right so that's why whether some there are so many organisms are which is very much useful for that plants and all the environment all so jab humne chemical pesticide jaisa use kiya hai jaise ki endosulfan and all it will even kill the harmful organism and also even the uh, that na useful uh, organism also usko bhi kill karega so that means it will create a pollution there right so biocontrol method hum use kar rahe hai so it doesn't have such problem it will not create any nuisance or any pollution to the environment or any other organisms right right 
so here you can see that uh, i already told you right so there are so many bio that now control methods are there right now we are mainly concentrating the uh, the na bio control agents which are actually the microbes right so here we are going to learn about the microbes which can be utilized utilized as a bio control agent right one of the main example is that bacillus thuringiensis otherwise known as the bt right bacillus thuringiensis it's a bacteria which can be utilized as a bio control agent right what is the specialty here you can see that these bacillus thuringiensis right uh, it's that na that na it's used to control wide range of insects right it can be actually easily control the butterfly caterpillars right these butterfly caterpillars actually causing there are different problems right so uh, that na that na this will eat vigorously eat the leaves of that plants and all so to prevent that to kill that butterfly caterpillar we can use that bacillus thuringiensis bacteria right how they will use actually there are dried spores of bt the bacillus thuringiensis are available in sachet form you will uh, that na you will get it uh, from the agriculture uh, that na stores and all and right and this can be easily mixed with water and we can spray on to the uh, that na plant which is actually Uh, vulnerable to that uh, fruit uh, that na uh, these type of uh, that na uh, that uh, caterpillars and all right such as we can say that brassica varieties and true fruit trees right so these are actually eaten by the caterpillar when they will develop that means these bacteria will be on the leaf or leaf ke upar uh, that na as a spray we are providing so the spores will be there inside that na on the leaf so when the caterpillar wagera eat kar deti hai isko uske gut mein ja kar these bacteria will start producing a toxin right and this toxin will kill the larva itself right so it will not kill any other organism wo specially wo larva ke andar ja kar usko gut ko actually uske gut mein ja kar wo toxin produce karega uski wajah se wo larva hi mar jati hai so the plant will be protected right so actually even scientists have introduced this bacillus thuringiensis toxin gene into the plants right so unhone actually genetically modified plants bhi create kiya hai such as bt cotton and bt brinjal etc so that they can itself produce that toxin in the plants right so that will be protected itself now another uh, important uh, that now what will you say that microbial bio control agent that's actually trichoderma it's a fungi right it's a fungi species eh? it's actually protecting the root system and control plant pathogens right so these can be seen in the root ecosystem you can see that here the picture they have given the white powder like substance this is actually the trichoderma fungi ye use kar deti hai uh, that na plant ki root system ko protect karne ke liye bhi aur invading pathogen ko kill karne ke liye bhi right so it's also a uh, that na fungi which is actually used as a bio control agents right now the third type of bio control agents mostly we are using this is actually baculovirus right or it's ka actually you can see that uh, that na nucleo uh, polyhydrovirus uh, right nucleo polyhydrovirus that's actually especially the genus nucleo that na polyhydrovirus ye special uh, genus hum use kar deti hai uh, this is a virus which is actually used as a bio control agent Hum ने एक बैक्टीरियल एंड किया है बैक्सेलस टूरिंजेनिसिस एक फंजे टाइकोडमा एंड दिस इज अ वायरस व्हिच कैन बी यूटिलाइज्ड एज अ बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट्स ये क्या कर देते हैं इट्स एक्चुअली अटैक द इंसेक्ट्स एंड अदर आर्थ्रोपोड्स राइट तो हम इंसेक्ट्स को और मोस्टली आर्थ्रोपोड स्पीशीज को अटैक कर देती है राइट एंड इट्स वेरी सूटेबल फॉर स्पीशीज स्पेसिफिक स्पेशली हम वो ही स्पीशीज को किल करने के लिए दैट मींस इट इट्स नॉट दैट ना ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम सिर्फ नैरो स्पेक्ट्रम हम स्पेसिफिकली मेंशन दैट ना वी कैन kill the organism insecticidal application sirf arthropoda ka hi kill karega right and desirable in that uh, integrate pest management do alag alag organisms ko use kar kar integrate pest management system mein bahut acche se that na use karne wali ek bio microbial bio control agent hai baculovirus right and uh, you can see that the ipm program to conserve the benefits of uh, that na beneficial insects jo harmful insects ko sirf harmful insects ko kill kar kar baki jo beneficial uh, that na beneficial insects wagera ko protect karne ke liye aise wali microbial bio, bio control agents bhi can use that so that will be really prefer, prefer, preferable 
now we are going to learn about that uh, some of the microbes which can even use as a bio fertilizer right bio fertilizers are organisms that enrich the nutrient quality of the soil right jab bhi hum chemical fertilizers use kar deti hai to actually continuous use kar deti hai that even kill the soil fertility right so when you use a bio fertilizer that will actually enrich the nutrient quality of the soil it will not destroy the natural that na fertility of the soil right so you can see that the main source of बायो फर्टिलाइजर हम जो बता रही है वो बैक्टीरिया फंजे और साइनो बैक्टीरिया ही राइट सो यू कैन सी दैट द बैक्टीरिया फंजे साइनो बैक्टीरिया दिस कैन बी यूटिलाइज एज ए बायो फर्टिलाइजर वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इन द स्मॉलर क्लासेस मेनली अबाउट द राइसोबियम व्हिच इज सिंबायोटिक बैक्टीरिया व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन द रूट नोड्यूल ऑफ लेग्यूम प्लांट्स राइट पी वैरायटीज की प्लांट्स में यू कैन सी दैट दे हैव अ रूट नोड्यूल इनसाइड द राइसोबियम बैक्टीरिया विल बी देयर एंड इट हैव द कैपेसिटी टू फिक्स द एटमॉस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन तो ये बैक्टीरिया एटमॉस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन को फिक्स कर प्लांट्स को दे देगी सो इट्स एक्चुअली सिंबियोटिक एसोसिएशन राइट एंड इवन यू कैन सी दैट देर आर सम फ्री लिविंग बैक्टीरिया ऑल्सो विच इज हैविंग द कैपेसिटी टू फिक्स एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एसोस्पाइरलम एंड एसोटो बैक्टर दीज आर एक्चुअली फ्री लिविंग है विच इज हैविंग द सेम कैपेसिटी टू फिक्स एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन बट राइसोपियम वी आर टेलिंग दैट्स एक्चुअली सिंबियोटिक बैक्टीरिया है and you can see that there are some other uh, that na that na what to say uh, uh, bio fertilizers are there which can be organism which can be utilized as bio fertilizer uh, one among them is, is actually the mycorrhiza right mycorrhiza it's actually the symbiotic association of fungi and the higher plants eh? right some fungi especially glomus right it's a special fungi you can see that this is actually attached with the roots of the higher plants right and these actually uh, why this is actually useful these fungus ki uh, that na mycelium very much thin hai rather than the root hairs uski wajah se this fungus gets food from the plant and the fungus will make available nutrients for the uh, that na plants very easily right humne already bata diya tha iska fungal mycelium jo bol rahi hai it's very thin hai so it can easily absorb the uh, that nutrients present in the soil right, which is not at all available for the plants as such. राइट जैसे कि फॉस्फरस की अब्सॉर्प्शन राइट एंड यू कैन सी दैट दैट ना रूट बोन पैथोजन की खिलाफ रेसिस्टेंस दे देती है राइट सैलिनिटी के लिए टॉरल दैट ना टॉलरेंस दे देती है इवन ड्राउट कंडीशन में भी एक्सेस करने के लिए दैट मींस इट कैन ईजली अब्सॉर्ब द वाटर एंड ऑल राइट नॉर्मली प्लांट रूट को अब्सॉर्ब नहीं कर पाती है उतना इट कैन ईजली अब्सॉर्ब सो उसकी वजह से कोई सा भी दैट ना कंडीशन होती है इट्स एक्चुअली गिविंग रेसिस्टेंस टू रूट बोन पैथोजन एंड ऑल्सो गिविंग टॉलरेंस टू salinity and drought also right and even these mycorrhizas and all these association give overall increase of the plant growth and development by making available the easy nutrients absorption right एंड uh, हमने ऑलरेडी बता दिया था राइट सो दीज ग्लॉमस एंड ऑल वी ईजली अब्सॉर्ब द फॉस्फरस एंड वाटर फ्रॉम द सॉइल सो दैट द प्लांट्स कैन ईजली ग्रो राइट एंड अदर दैट ना टाइप ऑफ दैट ना एसोसिएशन विच वी आर कॉमनली सीन दैट्स एक्चुअली द साइनो बैक्टीरिया राइट और द ब्लू ग्रीन आलगे वी कैन सी दैट दीज आर एक्चुअली ऑटोट्रॉपिक माइक्रोब्स है दे कैन प्रोड्यूस देयर ऑन फूड राइट दैट ना बाई यूजिंग सन लाइट राइट एंड दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑल्सो हैविंग द कैपेसिटी टू फिक्स एटमोस atmospheric nitrogen some of the example of cyanobacteria is that uh, anobe anabina right nostoc and oscillatoria etc right you can see that these anabina actually uh, can be used as a cattle feed right anabina asola right which is actually associated with the pteridophyte anabina asola right you can see that which can be utilized as a cattle feed and all right or even paddy fields mein wagera these can be uh, that na uh, grown for as a bio fertilizer which will increase the organic matter right uh, to the soil and it will increase in turn increase the fertility of the soil i hope you understand uh, the uh, that my use of microbes for the human welfare very clearly right uh, thank you all thank you for watching thank you